my hands are disappearing and I need to get the fuck out of the ocean and that's when I feel my body completely. I'm Olivia Alexander and this is the time I died on the beach in Tulum, Mexico. Do as I say, not as I do, don't, don't do this. So it all starts with this big pile of mushrooms and I only buy by the pound. I get to Mexico, I'm full of life because you know, I got the shrooms to Mexico. I get there and then my cousin is like, hey, before we really like get into it, why don't we do a Temes call? We should crawl into this cave with these Mayan people, they're gonna bring in hot rocks, they're gonna make it pitch black, and then we're gonna fucking purge. We're gonna also have a psychedelic experience without drugs. And so I was like, well, yeah, let's do it. I am holding on to dear life. It's like an hour and a half. You're with strangers. So I have this like psychedelic experience without drugs, highly recommend it. So I'm feeling, you know, just like extra there. Because I was in this sensitive place from the sweat ceremony, I feel called by the mushrooms. I hear them calling me and they just keep calling me and calling me and I just keep taking them and taking them, guzzling water, taking more capsules. At one point, I just remember taking a fistful of them. So we make our way down on the beach, we're dancing, I'm full of life. You know, I can feel the mushrooms just like really bringing me that serotonin. And then everyone's like, hey, let's go in the water. And it's like a inception. It's like a noise, it's like wah, wah, and I hear it and I'm like taking the steps and I'm taking the steps and then everything becomes mirrors. And I'm standing at the ocean and it's just mirrored and it's just endless and there's just the bluest water and then the sky and it's just like the most perfect day in Tulum. And now I am inside of a disco ball that has become earth. I am just in the ocean, I'm riding the waves, I'm feeling the waves and then I decide I am the wave. I feel myself moving with the wave and they're like, hey, um, are you okay? Cause I'm with a group and at that moment, shh, a bird flies over and I say, I'm the bird. And I literally see myself as the bird. I'm in all of these things. I am all of it. And that's when I realize my hands are disappearing and I need to get the fuck out of the ocean and I, I'm, I'm, I'm beginning to erode and I decide it's time to lay down as I have no hands and no arms and I close my eyes and that's when I feel my body completely cease to exist anymore. I feel as though I am dead. It is rainbows, it is fractals. It is as if I go beyond Andromeda and then I am greeted by spirit. It's two of them and they take me on a journey deep into other dimensions, but it goes on for like hours. I start to come back to like some form of reality. I see a building and it says, I'm gonna let you go, you have to enter it. And then when I walk in the building, it's like a, it's the biggest office building I've literally ever seen. And it's full of thousands of desks and at every desk is me and on the other side of the desk is me too. I see myself talking to myself with all of these past memories. Like some of them are traumas, some of them are happy memories, I begin to cry. I feel my heart, it is there again. And I'm like, oh, I must still be a human. Like I must be coming back to earth. And so my heart is so big. It's, it's like bleeding, it's gushing, it's oozing. It's just like literally like the mushroom golden showered me with love, empathy, everything that I kind of never felt in my life could even exist. And that's when I am back into reality on the beach and I realize that there's a conspiracy. And the conspiracy is that sand is man-made. Sand is not real, it is man-made. And that's when I began to cover myself in it. And I'm just literally rubbing it all over my body. We're rolling in it, we're rolling in it. I then just like sat there. I took in the sunset. I mean, I feel like I tripped for like a whole nother three days, but it was really just like a heightened sense of reality. The connectivity, feeling like I, I saw something that exists beyond dying and then living again. Um, I have this like unbelievable connection with death. For me, this one though, it was the one that shifted my life. It moved me forward and I carry it with me every single day. That's pretty much the time that I died to, to live and tell this tale. Tales from the...